Hey, welcome back. We're going to be doing some more sculpture today, and uh, today we're going to be working with our paper, and we're going to put the clay aside for a while. So uh, what you need today is you need your stack of paper, of the construction paper, you're going to need a scissors, and we're going to need our glue, and if you have it, it would be great to have a ruler. Um, if you don't have a ruler, we can still get by without it, but it would be nice to have one. So let's get all those things going and uh, pick out a couple sheets that you like the color of and we'll get started on making what we're going to make. So what we're going to be working on this week and next week is making our own city, which is going to be super fun. Well, you got to start off first with a base of what the buildings and everything is going to go on top of. And that's what we have here. We have a nice green base. And I've got one sheet here, and I want to make it even bigger, so I'm going to put two sheets together. So I'm going to kind of overlap the two sheets a little bit. And you see how they just go over a little bit there over each other. And I'm going to glue part of the edge of one sheet of paper and glue these two sheets together. So I'll put down some glue right there, just a thin stripe of glue on the edge, but all up and down the edge. And then we take the other sheet and do your best to line it up nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do the best you can to line it up and stick it down. Hold it down, kind of rub it across and go stick, stick, stick. And it's stuck. All right, so this is gonna be like where we put our buildings and everything, our roads or whatever, um, but we just want to get our base done, and you can make the the ground bigger than even two sheets. You could do this twice and put four sheets together. You could put six together. You could put eight together. However many you want to do. That's kind of up to you how far you want to go with it. But right now, we're just going to do two. But now that these are put together, I'm just going to put it off to the side, and we're going to work on making a building. And I'm going to show you how to make two different types of buildings. So let's get started on one of them. The first building we're going to make is like a skyscraper building. So I'm going to use purple for that. And we're not going to use the whole sheet of paper. If I use this whole sheet, it would be way too big of a building. So we're going to have to find a way to cut it down. And I think if we go half, I like to take the paper and just fold it in half and make a crease and then cut it in half, right down the middle there. We're gonna be doing some folding and some cutting to make our building though. All right, so I got a good half here. I'll take this other half, put it over there for now. So I've got half of my purple sheet here and to start off with, I want to just make a little fold. It doesn't have to be a perfect size but just a little fold from top to bottom like there and so it comes out like this I have a little bit there but I want to keep that folded in for now and I want to take this edge here and fold it to this edge here so I bring it all the way over and fold it like that and just line up the edges the best you can and then crease it down while holding this edge still and crease it down and then you want to unfold it and then take this edge and move fold it to the center here. So take this and bring it in there to the center and hold this in place and then crease it down. And then take this edge and fold it to the center here. So take this and bring it in and hold it in place and fold it down. There we go. And then we want to unfold it. And then so if we took it like this, we'd have a nice square shape here, which is a good start for our building. But don't glue it together yet. We're not done. We gotta do the roof. So what you wanna do if you have a ruler is you wanna measure how far it is from the edge of the paper to the first fold here. And it looks like it's about two and three quarters right there. Or you know, if you feel like you, you don't have a ruler and you want to do it, you can always take another sheet of paper 
and then just cut it like where that fold is, you know, so you kind of have an idea where it would be. But it's a lot easier to use just through the ruler. So use a ruler and go down, we wanted to go down two and three quarters of an inch to there. And I make a little mark with a pencil and uh, just for consistency, I'll do it one more there. And then we want to draw a line all the way across the paper at that mark. Just draw a line all the way across there. I got that line on there. And now I want to fold it again on that line. Do the best you can to fold it on that line. You can fold it one way to start with and then fold it back the other way if you want. Fold it this way and then bring it back in if you want or just leave it on that edge. I should have just left it, but it's fine. So I've got it folded like that. And now we want to go take our scissors and we want to cut down this crease edge on every fold. So I'll take it here and I'll cut it down just to that line though. And cut it again on this edge just to that line. Here again, just to the line. And then this edge here also, just to the line there. All right, so we should have something like this now. Then we want to take our scissors and we want to go just above the line a little bit, about like there, and cut the little bit on the end, cut the first square at that spot, cut the second square at that spot, and then cut the third square at that spot, but stop at the fourth. Don't cut into the last square like that. So we should have a little bit like that. And then what you can do is take it and fold it up and fold each parts of these onto each other. So you have like a fold like that. And then if you brought that in, we'd have our roof. So really all we have to do now is glue it down. But before you glue it down, if you wanna put windows or a door on it, it's a lot easier to do that now while it's flat than once you put it together. So I'm gonna take these scraps and we're just gonna put them over here. We're gonna make some windows. So pick out a color that's gonna be good for some windows. I've got a scrap of this blue right here that I think would look good for some windows. So really, you can just cut out some squares for windows and glue them on. I'm just gonna make a nice long strip here for some windows. Cut them out there. So once I take like a strip of paper, if you want all your windows to be the same size, one of the best ways to do it is by folding. So if we take this and fold it to the end, and crease it, and then fold it again, and fold it again like that, you just keep folding it in half and then unfold it and then we just cut on each one of these folds. They'll all be the same size and then we can glue them down to our building here. So let's cut it down, cut them out. You can put as many windows as you want on it. You can put a lot or a little. This is just one way to do it. So I've got all these windows here. And then I'm like, oh, okay. I'll figure out like how big they should, where they should go. You know, have them go like right here maybe, and right here. And I can look at them and be like, well, maybe they're a little too big too. So I wanna cut them down a little bit. You can always cut them down make them a little smaller, just cut some edges off of them, but you don't have to. It's really up to you how you want your building to look. I just want you to be happy with it at the end of the day. So 
all that matters to me is that you enjoy what you made. We'll cut these ones down too, just to make them all about the same size. But if they're not the same size, like it's not a big deal. That'll give the building some character even if they're not perfect. So I've got those scraps out of the way. So let's glue down a few of these. Or we can always try and make some more windows to start with and just kind of cut another strip before we get going. Maybe we want all the windows to be the same. So if you want them all to be the same, make another strip of paper the same size as the last one. And you should be able to just fold it again in half, in half again, in half again, and then undo it, and then just cut it on the, on the creases again, on the folds. We have all these windows ready to pop on there. And once you figure out where you kind of want them to go, just take some glue, of course, put it on the back of your windows, and stick it down. So I'm going to stick one there. And I got all of these windows I got to stick down. So I'm going to use some magic and just go stick. And they're all stuck. Magic. It was amazing, wasn't it? All right. So we got all of this together, but we want to put in a door too. So for a door, you really can just uh, kind of find where you want a door here. I'm going to put this right down the middle here. Just cut right down the middle of this side and then turn the paper a little bit and just cut a little cut across there on one side and then do a little cut on the other side. And then just fold these back a little bit. Fold it a little bit one way. You can bring it out the other way. Maybe you want the doors open. Maybe it's a business that wants more customers. They want to bring more people in. So we can have our doors open like that, kind of. Whichever way you want to do it. Or if you want to just cut out another color and just glue a door on, that's fine as well. So our building is all ready to go. We just have to finish putting it together. So to start with, what you want to do is you want to put glue all on the tops of these spots and then glue around the bottom edge of this. So let's start with that. Put some glue on the edges here. There we go with some glue. And then on the turn this over a little bit and just put a little glue around the edge of this. Lift her up and start folding it together. With each fold, bring this down here and then let it glue. Bring that down there and let the glue stick a little bit. Over here like so. And then bring the top down. Oops, and I forgot to, you gotta glue this edge too though. Put some glue on that as well. Bring it all up again, bring it all together like this, fold the top down, kind of hold it in place just a little bit, and then get the edge here and bring this and kind of fold that and hold that in place a little bit as well. You can kind of stick your hand in it if you want to, bring it all the way to the end. And just kind of hold that glue there just for a, a few brief seconds is about all you need. And you go stick, stick. Stick, 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 you stick, stick. We've got our building. It's beautiful. I love it. This is a great office building or a shop or something. I'm not certain yet what it'll be, but this is a good start on our building. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to make another type of building, like a house. 
So I've got a big sheet of white here again. We gotta cut this down to size a little bit. So I like to fold it in half, take the big sheet and fold it in half, and then cut that down the middle. It's not perfect, that's okay. And then I want to take this part and fold this in half as well and cut this down the middle. So we want our houses, this is for a house, we want our house to be smaller than the big office building that, you know, is downtown. This is maybe in a different part of the city or wherever. So I've got this right here. This looks beautiful to start with. So as with every building though, the first thing you want to do is make that fold on the end, that little fold, so you can glue it together. So make that little fold right here on the edge. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be any real size, you know, just kind of guess, make a little fold. All right, so for here, we want to fold it in half again to start with. So take that edge that you just folded and bring it to the other side, like right there. Beautiful. Unfold it. But now for this side, what you want to do is take it, not fold it, don't fold it to the center. You want to fold it kind of in the halfway to the center. So I brought it about this far over, folded it over like that, and brought that over. And then to take this edge and fold it to where you just folded it. And fold that and crease that there. So then when we bring it up, this building won't have the same sides. They'll have different sides on each one of them. So one side like this will be bigger, this side will be smaller, this side will be like the front, and then this side will be like the side again. So unfold this a little bit. We want to determine how big we want our house now. So I want to take it, I want this one kind of small, so I actually I'm going to fold this in half. Fold it in half and then unfold it again. And then on these spots right here, the small sides, we want to make a little mark in the middle of it. And just kind of guess where the middle is, but I think it's about there. You know, make a mark somewhere in the middle. You can go all the way from the top if you want to draw it down. But somewhere in the middle, about there. And we want to make a triangle shape in here. Triangle right there. And do that on the same side over there. And if you want to use a ruler to make sure it's the same height, go for it and use the ruler or use another edge. Or you can just kind of guess. If you're off a little bit, it's okay. And then, you know, make this triangle again. And then just to be make it easier to see, I'm going to draw this line here and this line there and this line there. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to cut along this line here and cut that out. And that'll make our house, it'll make it so we have we can put a roof on it and an angled roof instead of a flat roof. So just do your best to cut it out along that edge. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just do the best that you can. All right, so now we'll have our house like this. We'll have these stand up like that. There we go. That looks great. Might even be a little too tall. So we have our house here. It's gonna be a little too tall though, so I'm gonna cut some of the bottom off actually. So. Instead of just drawing a line, I like to just fold it 
put it down there, and then just cut. But it's really up to you how big you want your house. Maybe it's a two-story house. Maybe it's, you know, it's just a really tall house. They have really high ceilings on the inside. Who knows? But I want this house to be kind of small to start with. So we take our scraps and say goodbye to the scraps. And here we can glue it together now. We don't have to wait till we get the roof on it to glue this one together. So take some glue and put it right here on the short fold. And then just bring it over to here and stick it on there. Beautiful. Get our house all right here. And now we just need a roof on top of it. So to make the roof, pick out a color you want for the roof. I want some red on my roof. So I'm gonna take some red. And really what you wanna do with this is just take your house and lay it down on the edge here and just kind of measure like how big it is from here to there. And you want your mark to be just a little bit bigger than that. So if we look real close, you can see here, I've got my house and I've taken this edge here and I just laid it down on top of the paper here and I had it go just a little bit off of the edge here. So I didn't start right on the edge of the paper. I started right about here and then here is the corner part and then I can just kind of flip it over if I want and do this side here. And then don't make your edge right at, don't make your mark right at the edge of the paper or right where the edge of the house, just a little bit beyond that. And then just kind of make it a little bit bigger on this side over here. So if you see, I made a mark just a little bit on the side of the house there. So what we can do then is we have this area that would go from like here to there. If you want to make it perfectly straight, you can use a ruler, but I think I can cut it pretty well. There we go. Whoops, I actually did it wrong. It should be at this mark where we folded it. Never mind. All right. So then I can take this and then just fold this part in half. And it would go right on top of our roof like this. It'll go on the roof of our house. And I just need to glue it down now. So then to get the roof onto our house, um, I think the better glue to use is this school glue. If you have any of this lying around, if you do use the uh, glue stick, you can get it on there. It can be a little tricky and you might have to add a little paper on there. I think these ones work a little better. The school glue works a little better. And you just gotta take a little bit of it and dab a little bit around on the corners and stuff. Or you could use some tape and tape it on there. But this school glue works pretty well. You can just stick it on top and let it dry. So I got it on top there. I'll let her dry a little bit. While you're waiting for it to dry, we can make some windows for it. So it can take a little while to dry. You wanna make sure it's really stuck on. There we go. All right, so to make a window, you can go kind of similar. You can use just the same ones we did last time on our other building, or we can go with a little square so I'm gonna take a little square like this. I'm just gonna cut out a square to start with. Then you wanna take this square and fold it in half. And we wanna cut it so that we don't cut all the way to the edge. Cut like right there and right there on the bottom part. So now we have this that kind of sticks out like this. And then you can take this part. Oh, I need to cut just a little bit more there. Take it 
take this and then fold this part up and cut that. So I've got it like this and then cut this part off. So we've got a little hole in the window there. Or you can just take like some extra scraps and just kind of make a window. Or we can use some of the scraps to glue it on there like that. Use some little extra bits. And use some of this glue to get that on there. Just kind of stick a window on like that. Use your imagination. You could do triangle windows or circular windows, whatever you want to put on your house. That's up to you. I'm going to just cut the edges off here though. Put some glue all over that. And stick this on the, wherever you want on the house. I want it over here. Let's put the window over here. Get some more glue down on this and let this dry. All right, I'm gonna let this house dry. I think I'll put a little door in to start with though before I let it dry. I'll cut here and then this time I'm just gonna cut a little bit in from there for our door. Get it in there. There we go. Bring this up just a little bit and get my scissors in there just to cut a little bit across and fold it over like this. Oh, my roof came off. I have to re-glue that on there. Well, I need to just be patient and let it dry is what I need to do. It's hard to be patient sometimes though, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna be patient and let that dry. But that house looks great, I love it. Let's let it dry, make sure it's stuck down and let the glue dry. One good way to get the glue to dry too is you can kind of like let it sit on its roof and then uh, let it dry that way. So I made a few more houses. I've got a varying sizes. Try and make um, some buildings with different sizes. It makes your city more interesting and more unique. Looks a lot cooler if you have like different size buildings where you can put, you know, maybe this one behind these and all of that stuff. So try and make a few more buildings, at least like four or five. I've got a, a house that I made. I'm going to make a few more houses, but Using that school glue to put the roof on is going to make it so it's going to take about a day for that to dry. So just let those dry overnight. Come back tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we've got a few buildings and uh, I've got a start to my city here. It looks pretty good to start with. But we need a lot more stuff to go on it. And that's what we're going to do next time. So next time we're going to use some more clay and add some more things to our city to make it look a lot cooler, more lived in. So I hope you had fun. Um, definitely like uh, make a few of these. If you can't make the houses, the houses are kind of tricky. So don't get too frustrated with those. You can always like say, well, you know, this is somebody's house. They can be in there. So don't get too frustrated with those. Do what you can. Of course, if you have any questions, send me an email, hit me up with a message. Um, yeah, but go ahead and make a few buildings. Um, decide how big you want your city to be. Right now, I think this is a good size for mine. I'll probably make, you know, a couple more house or a couple more houses, maybe one or two more buildings like this. But that'll be good to start with. So you don't want to have your whole city just covered in buildings. We want to have other cool things in our in our city too. So we'll see you next time. Bye.